what we want today more than anything else is your creative ideas. And that's the, the key thing about today. This is the third year that we've run the Young Conference for Young People here at the RI. This is the biggest event so far. We have over 250 students here today discussing ethics in science. It's a, probably the most challenging topic we've had for the students to discuss, but every year they have risen to that challenge. Generally in school, how often do you discuss ethical issues? Um, so if we could start voting now. Science really is at the heart of L'Oreal. We were established by a chemist over a hundred years ago and every single product we make starts its life in the lab. That's why we support the L'Oreal Young Scientist Centre at the Royal Institution, where we engage young people to think creatively about science outside the classroom. Um, energy, so it's the I electrolysis. Hold on, bear with me for a moment. <laughs> We need energy security. Because of climate change, we need a low carbon source of energy. In other words, the energy can't be too expensive. And look at how energy prices are going up now. We are now at the stage where we're capable of, of creating organisms from scratch that have been that have genomes that have been designed entirely by us. Is this a this the, you know key ethical question here? Is should we be doing this? Who is using our data? Who owns it? Um, what gives you the right to use my data that I put out there? Well, I put it out there, so why shouldn't you be able to use it? Agriculture as a sector is responsible for about a quarter of the global greenhouse gas emissions. How do we feed the world sustainably without degrading to a large extent the environment in which we live? Every year students have produced policies, ideas that are really inventive, that have surprised the VIP panel that we invite along and more importantly have been worth putting into a document that we have presented at the highest levels. You're feeding back to people who influence, have a direct say on policy and, and where we go in these areas in the future. Good afternoon, everybody. How are we feeling tonight? <laughs> if we were to give you a hundred million pounds, what would you spend it on? We need to invest in the short term, uh, short term possibilities first. So things like fracking and collecting solar power, for, those are the short term, because I think with energy, if we can get stable energy, that means we could sort of have a stable economy. Then we'll get onto the uh, most exciting science.